Well, it has been pretty long summer here, and so we're at Hydrangeas Plus with Kristen. And so, Kristen, we all have hydrangeas that look like this. So, what should we do with them? Yeah, they're getting a little tired, a little crispy, <laughs> and if they don't get quite enough water, they might get these browning edges that just don't look very attractive. So, a few things we can do. They might not be done blooming. Oh, okay. So. Um, last resort is you can prune them. Okay. We can talk about pruning in a second, but maybe they just need a little food. Ah, it's so, not too late. No, it's not too late. Well, and just be careful of the nitrogen. Okay. Because if we do get an early freeze, which I don't think we're supposed to, mm -hmm. you don't want too much nitrogen in okay, the stems. Okay, pushing, okay. Yes, exactly, and the, and the growth pushing. So a good phosphorus fertilizer too will also help with some of the leaf coloring that you might be having. Okay. And the crisping might just need a little bit of mother nature and water. Okay. So the phosphorus would be the middle number would be bigger Correct. than the first number. Correct. Okay. And, and that's mostly just for leaf health. Okay. Yes. All right. And then if we do prune, how far back do we go? We always worry about how many nodes back. Right. <laughs> and it kind of depends on the plant. Okay. You know, most of the hydrangeas like these macrophylla do bloom on the old wood. Okay. So you do have to be careful not to cut back too far. All right. Because you want to have some of this new growth that's coming on okay. from this from year. This year. Uh, keep that on the plant. Okay. So definitely don't cut it way back. Okay. But so where he, would you go? I would probably cut up. There's a leaf node here, and I would cut at the second one. Okay. And I'll just make a nice cut so on that one. So the flower will be down there. Actually. Yes. Well, it'll go dormant and then okay. grow out okay. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a uh, this is Oregon Pride, so the stem is a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. But usually they'll be bright, bright green. Okay. So. Uh, we can go to the next okay. hydrangea here, and you can see this one's got some yellowing leaves, mm -hmm. which is definitely water related. Okay. This one has been a favorite for our puppy <laughs> that would, likes to dig and likes to take irrigation pipe. Mm. So this poor thing has been wilting and then coming back and wilting and coming back, and you can really distinctly see the yellowing leaves. Sure. So it's, it's a function of water, and we'll probably give it a little bit of a 10, 10, 10 fertilizer. All right. Nothing more than a 12 on that first nitrogen number. Okay. Just to give it a little food. And do we want to take the flowers back at this point or leave you them? You can. I, like I said, it's, you never know. We still might get blooms. Okay. We like to prune before the end of September. Okay. That's usually our deadline. All right. And there are some plants that do bloom this time of yes. year. Yes. So let's go to a different part of the garden and see those. Sounds great. All right. Now, Kristen, this is a beauty. What's this? This is uh, one of the paniculatas, which are the late summer uh, show-stopping show uh, hydrangeas, obviously. This one is called Pink Diamond, mm. and it's not done yet. It's going to oh. even get redder and redder nice. as our temperatures get cooler and cooler. And it takes sun, so that's great. If you Perfect. have a sunny spot, you think, oh, I can't have hydrangeas, but this is a great one. Yes, the paniculata all can take good sun, and, and the bees love it. Oh, wonderful. So great for late pollinators. Yes. And then what's the blue one? Oh, that one's called General Vicomtesse de Vibre. Mm -hmm. Very big, long name. Nice and French. Beautiful variety. Um, takes good sun. Uh, starts off kind of a lighter blue, and then ages to an antique green and pink. Oh, pretty. Very pretty, pretty. delicate. Well, you know, if you want new hydrangeas, you need tips on hydrangeas, please go to Garden Time. We'll click you over to the Hydrangeas Plus website, an excellent, really beautiful and informative website. Thanks so much. Thank you.